Weather alert now. The biggest snowstorm in years is headed for the northeast. Or that's what the meteorologists tell us. More than 65 million people in its path. Some cities could get, we're told, as much as a foot of snow, some more. Forecasters say with blizzard-like conditions in some areas, power outage is possible. Janice Huff knows this stuff. She's tracking the snowstorm. Chief meteorologist for NBC4 New York. Going to be quite a day tomorrow, huh? Uh, Mr. Beck is from Earth. Just not yours. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Whatever comes our way, Whatever battle we have raging inside us, we always have a choice. My friend Harry taught me that. He chose to be the best of himself. It's the choices that make us who we are. And we can always choose to do what's right. Five years ago, right before Thanos, I was in a place called the Quantum Realm. See, the rules of the quantum realm aren't like they are up here. Everything is unpredictable. Attack in London. An anonymous source provided this video, which shows Clinton back in a.k.a. Mysterio, Mysterio moments before his death. A warning you may find this video disturbing. I did a semi on my device to dimension rig, but I don't think I'm going to make it off this bridge alive. Spider Man attacked me for some reason. He has an army weaponized called Stark Technology. He said he's the only one who's going to make it do Iron Man, no one else. Are you sure you want to come up with the drone attack? There will be significant casualties. Do it. I should do the wrong. The shocking video was released earlier today on the controversial news website, thedailybugle.net. There you have it, folks. Conclusive proof that Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet and who will no doubt go down in history as the greatest superhero of all time. But that's not all, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves. You might want to see that. Spider-Man's real. Spider-Man's real name is Peter. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the... Oh, yeah. That blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind... How did he know I was Spider-Man? Spider-Man, a psychopath wielding powers he has no right to possess, trying to pass himself off as a hero. Well, let me tell you something, kid. You're no hero. You are a criminal, a miscreant, a masked marauder, a menace. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Parker, a teenage psychopath armed to the teeth. Hey, Spider-Man attacked me for Listen, some reason. I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. I did not kill Mysterio. Stop talking. My name is Matthew Murdoch. I'm your attorney. Bailiff, bring in the defendant, please. My identity pretty guarded this past couple of years. I faced a lot of deception. You. And I'm tired. You don't want to tell us? I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what kind of man you are. You're the kind of man this city needs. Because, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all know this city needs help. Needs it now. 
Not tomorrow, not next week, not when the day comes when the corruption that Wilson Fisk left in his wake is flushed out for good and the police force is finally back on its feet. We need it now. This city's been sick. And the cops, they can't fix it alone. They need, we all need, men and women who are willing to take the fight themselves, the kind of people who risk their lives so that we can walk safer at night in our own neighborhoods. The ones our esteemed district attorney here is trying so hard to destroy. New York needs these people. We need heroes.